I should post that. I think the reason why we're not getting any uh, content for MK11 is like twofold, right? It's the next gen and it's the COVID, right? And the budget. But the budget is tied to the next gen and the COVID. So like the crossplay is jank as fuck and unfinished, right? In this game with uh, next gen, with cross gen, right? It's, it doesn't fucking work. And I think the reason for that is they thought that the new consoles are going to come out. Everybody's going to buy the new consoles. There's going to be some stragglers, but they'll eventually catch up. But for the most part, everyone's going to get the new console, and they need a new game to play it, so they'll get Mortal Kombat Ultimate, you know, next-gen version. But we don't need to worry about the backwards, you know, cross-play because those people should be encouraged to move forward. Typical corporate greed, right? Typical corporate greed. NetherRealm is not fucking immune to that shit. Right? Instead of supporting the old version, we're just going to put all support to the new version. Oh, wait! Global pandemic, and now we can't fucking do shit with the new version, right? Because there's no consoles, even the people that want one, right? It's not even about fucking making fun of the poor people and being like, ha ha, you can't get the new console, fuck you, you don't get to be with the community. We're going to greed, we're going to greed motivate you to be able to play a game you already own, right? They can't do that shit because there's no new consoles to get. So they can't push, they can't force people to the new console. But why are we going to develop content for the old game, right? We're going to develop content for the old game. And like the DLC is like a slide, right? Like it sells a lot at the release of the game. And then as the game gets older, it sells less and less and less. So I think the thing is that Mortal Kombat Ultimate probably didn't do the numbers that Warner Brothers wanted. And Warner Brothers looked at it and said, listen, our production is shit because of COVID. Right? The next gen consoles, hey, relentless, thanks for the follow. The next gen consoles are not in anybody's hands. So instead of investing in putting more money into this game, right, we're just going to take our entire staff and put them towards the new game. And hopefully, by the time the new game comes out, adoption for next gen consoles will be a little bit better and we can actually make some better money off of this. But right now, they won't make as much money off of the old gen game as they would with the new gen game. And that's why I don't think that NetherRealm is on board with this. I think this is a Warner Brothers decision, okay? I think Warner Brothers is like, nah, fuck it, dude. We're gonna make more money in the long term releasing a new game on the new consoles. We're just gonna spend money for very little returns, right? Mortal Kombat, I don't think Ultimate did as well as far as a DLC. It probably sold a shit ton of copies on next gen, but that's in proportion to the next gen consoles. I'm pretty sure everybody who bought a PS5 and a Series X, probably a lot of them probably bought Mortal Kombat Ultimate. But that number is going to be smaller because they gave the old gen version away for free. So the people that just upgraded got Ultimate for free. So they didn't get those sales. And so now you're just looking at people who haven't bought it on PS4 and Xbox One, like Switch and all that, the old console versions. Then those are going on sale for like 12 bucks, like once a month. You can find Mortal Kombat 11 base game for 12 bucks. You could get the whole ultimate version for like 20 bucks if you're very uh, patient with your pricing. So like they looked at it and they're like, we didn't make much off of this DLC, right? We could pay our people to make more DLC knowing that we probably won't make that much more, or we can cut our losses on Ultimate, say it's done, and get to work on the next game, put the next game out. Hopefully, by the time the next game is done, we will have the next-gen consoles, and they don't have the manpower to do both. I think that's what it is. At the end of the day, they don't have the manpower to have a, a small team doing DLC for MK and the fucking next game. Because they probably let a lot of people go because of the pandemic, right? A lot of MK's problems have been with, like, leaks and, you know, fucking Jacob Schreier or whatever the fuck that idiot is like. Oh, the crunch! Oh, the crunch! All oh, the poor gamers, they're the crunch! You know, because nobody fucking cares, dude. I do overtime, nobody fucking gives a shit. I lost my fucking legs at my job and nobody fucking gave a shit. But yeah, man, video game developers get to live the dream and unfortunately they have to work a lot of overtime. Quit whining, bitches. Quit whining. But they probably let a lot of people go because they're like, all right, well, we can't really keep these people on staff because all of our contracted employees keep leaking all of our shit. That's why all the shit gets leaked, right? It's because a contracted employee, like they're QA testers. Their QA testers are temporary contracted employees. And NetherRealm doesn't really seem to give a shit about them because no corporation gives a shit about their temporary contracted employees. But unfortunately, it means they can't trust them. And since they can't trust them, they don't have a staff to test this shit like they normally would. They've got to rely on QA testing from the people that they have on permanent contract. 
and that just means that they don't have the manpower, right? They probably have enough people if they could contract third parties to do the QA testing, um, not in-house, right? They probably would have the manpower to do MK11 DLC and whatever fucking next game there is. But without those third parties contracted, they don't have the manpower, and I don't think that they want to spend the resources and the money on that just because, like, you know, they run the risk of that shit getting leaked anyways. I think at the end of the day, it's just, like, we don't get more content for Mortal Kombat 11 because Mortal Kombat 11 is just not making Warner Brothers enough money anymore. And it sucks, but I get the feeling that NetherRealm, the reason why they were so silent, like, everybody's giving them shit, right? Oh, why didn't they announce it was done six months ago, right? Why didn't they just say something? You knew there wasn't going to be no DLC. No, I think they probably didn't think. I bet you they were working on shit and it is sitting there waiting to be released and they can't release it. They can't finish it and release it and they're probably pissed off about that and they kept their mouths shut because they want to have a job, right? If they came out and said, yo, dude, we have Reptile and fucking Ash Williams ready to fucking go. We can't get that shit approved by the corporate overlords. We can't even get it finished. We got to make sure the animations work. Can't finish it. Corporate overlords said no. And if we say any shit, we're going to lose our jobs. But see, you're lucky you got me, right? The NetherRealm Studios, lucky you got me. I shit on them a lot. But, but, I can also say shit that they can't. And I'll just say, like, fuck that shit. That's why they kept their mouth shut. Everybody's shitting on NetherRealm for that, but people, like, people are ignorant. They don't know anything about how money works. And so they're just going to go and they're going to fucking talk shit. Tyler Lansdowne, you're a fucking idiot. I fucking hate you. Why won't you nerf Jackie? You know? Hey, Ed Boone, you're a fucking moron. I hate you. Why didn't you add Ermac? Right, those guys get shit on, and like a lot of that's not even their fault. It's not their fault. I bet you Combat Pack 3 is sitting at Nether Realm right now, half finished, ready to rock. We can't get it. We can't get it because just nothing in the budget. Nothing in the budget. But before I play this match, let me know what you think about Combat Pack 3 not coming out. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to fuck up this cabal in the meantime. A little laggy, Zero. I was hoping that crush didn't come out. I was like, please don't do the crush. I tapped that shit fast. Stayed looking for it. Oh, I tried to catch it. What the fuck? I'm, I'm kind of mad that I'm not getting nothing. Got it. Got it. Good shit. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Mortal Kombat. And your mom. I, I don't have a your mom joke for this one. Your mom is uh, your your mom is so fat that like she eats uh, Doritos um, for breakfast. It's bad. <laughs>